Hey guys, how's it going? So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the LCD flip from Color Clusters on your Yamaha XSR 700 dash. What this modification does is it makes your Yamaha XSR 700 dash look like the 900 dash. The way it does that is it inverts the colors on the background. So for example, on your stock dash, I'll put up a picture here, it's going to come with a white background with black lettering. And when you install this, or if you look on the XSR 900 dashes, it is black background with white lettering. So what you're going to get in the package is a set of instructions along with the LCD flip, but you're also going to need a few other materials to install this smoothly on your bike. You're going to need a couple of microfiber cloths, a screwdriver, a razor blade. Um, this is kind of optional. I'll get to it in a little bit and a adhesive remover. So for what I found works best is Gugon. Um, I just found in a bottle, but I know a lot of countries don't actually sell this. So what you can use is actually just hand sanitizer. If you have hand sanitizer with a high alcohol percentage, it will work. Um, this one has 75% alcohol. You can find ones with, I think, like 95% alcohol, but even 75 or even 50% alcohol will work. So to install your LCD flip, what you're gonna have to do is remove the dash from the bike. Unfortunately, I create these products and I can't own every single motorcycle. So I just have the dash for the XSR 700 because it connects to my MT-07. But in the, in the package are instructions on showing you how to remove it from the bike itself. And I'll throw those pictures up online right now or on the screen right now. But once you have the dash off, what you're gonna do is take a microfiber cloth and just put it face down and flip the dash over so you don't scratch the screen. There are then a bunch of screws on the back and what you're gonna to wanna to do is to go ahead and remove those with the screwdriver and so you can pop this back casing off. So once you have all the screws removed, you can go ahead and open up the back casing. Um, if this is your first time opening the back, it's gonna be kind of hard. So you, what you're gonna what you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of just shove your nail in between or take a business card and um, pry it open that way. You're not gonna to wanna to use a screwdriver so it doesn't scratch the casing. But um, once you get it off, it will come apart and the LCD screen will come out. Um, keep in mind that there are two little button tabs that are also gonna fly out, so make sure you do not lose those and put those to the side. So in order to install the LCD flip on the dash and invert the colors, what, you, what you're gonna need to do is remove the original material. So to do this, what you're gonna wanna do is grab a X-Acto knife and peel up on one of the corners of the original material and it'll come off kind of like a tough screen protector. As you can see, mine comes off pretty easily. That's just because I've removed this a few times and had to put the original one back on. But what you're gonna wanna do is just peel it off completely so you have the original material off the dash. There you go. Like I said, I did do a whole bunch of product testing on this dash, so this came off a lot easier than it would on your bike. Um, on your bike, what you're going to want to do is take a blow dryer or a heat gun on low setting and just heat up the screen a bit, which will adhere, which will um, sorry, soften some of the glue on the LCD screen. Also on the LCD screen, you're going to be stuck with a little bit of adhesive, um, and this is where the adhesive remover and this razor blade comes in. So what you're going to do is want you to take your goo gone, take your microfiber cloth, and just spray it a few times. And on your dash, you're gonna have a lot of adhesive here and you're just gonna to wanna to wipe off all the adhesive that's on your dash. I just have a little bit from the one I installed. So we'll take it off. But on yours, don't be afraid to use some Goo Gone as well as the, oops, as well as the hand sanitizer to get um, the original adhesive off the screen. Um, like I said, with the razor blade, if you do not have hand sanitizer or adhesive remover, you can use a razor blade on the screen. The screen is actually pretty durable. Um, you're not going to want to cut on the screen, you just kind of want to scrape it on the side. As you can see, if you're scraping it on the side like this, you're not scratching the screen at all. So you're going to have some stubborn uh, adhesive in the corners and what you're going to want to do is just use a razor blade and you just get in on the corners and make sure all the corners are clean with no adhesive left over. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that the screen is perfectly clean with no dust left on it because any dust that's on it will be trapped underneath. Also, if you're working in a dusty area, another trick I found is actually using some tape. Just take some scotch tape, kind of wrap it around your finger here. And you can use this to kind of take off any of the dust that's stubborn to the screen and making sure that it is perfectly clean before you install your LCD flip. 
So with the screen perfectly clean, what you're gonna wanna do is take your LCD flip and remove the number one side of the LCD flip first. This is the adhesive side, so make sure you do not touch the bottom of it when you remove it. And what you're gonna wanna do is just align it on your screen like a screen protector. What I found works best is if you just align the bottom first and just kind of pinch down when it's in place. And then go ahead and just gently set it down on the screen and take your finger and kind of lick it a little bit and just starting from the bottom, push straight up. This will start and help remove all the air bubbles in the middle of the dash out towards the outside. And just go ahead and release all the air that's trapped underneath there. There we go. As you can see, there are a few small air bubbles. And once you just kind of push them out to the side, they will disappear. There we go. The screen is perfectly clean right now, or the screen is applied right now. Clean it up a bit so you can see all the air bubbles. And there are none. So now you have the number two side on here. Go ahead and remove this. And there you go, now you have your LCD flip perfectly installed. As you can see, it actually changed the background to black already, um, but once you install it, the background will uh, glow black. So with the LCD flip perfectly installed, you can go ahead and put the button tabs back in and button up the dash. I also do sell a colored film for the motorcycle. Um, this changes the color to blue, red, green, whatever color you choose, and it works with the LCD flip. So what you're gonna wanna do is take this and actually just plug it into the dash and then install this on top. But for this installation video, we'll just go ahead and tidy up the dash and go attach it to the bike. So we got it connected to the bike, so let's go ahead and turn it on and see how it looks. So as you guys can see, it inverted the dash and now the dash looks a little bit more like the Yamaha XSR 900 model. So if you want to buy one, the website link is down in the description. Um, like I said, I sell them for the XSR 700, the FZ07, FZ09, and the FZ10, and a few more bikes are on the way. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.